Hey Leslie, I'll be right with you. <laughs> Hello everybody. Just getting everything all set up and hopefully we are good to go tonight. Okay, hello everybody. We are trying this again. No, I'm not vacuuming. Why would you say that? I did it earlier. Um, so this morning, if you happen to be with me live at 10 o'clock this morning, you will know that I was having some technical difficulties and hopefully I have that uh, fixed and we're gonna be able to go on with our project tonight. So I think what happens is sometimes when I'm using the app that allows me to not only um, let you see me from the front, uh, but to see me from up above so you can see what my hands are doing. Um, I think I left some videos in there that I should have deleted and it just bogs everything down. And hopefully um, by deleting all of those, I am back in business and you guys can see me and hear me and we won't have interruptions like we did earlier. So, as I was saying, oh my goodness, why isn't that going through? What's, that's what it sounded like? Wow, okay. All right, um, I'm not sure if you guys are watching from my VIP group. I'm just going to try placing it in there one more time. And it should be fine. Okay. All right, so my project this morning involved this cute little board. It is approximately 11 and a quarter by five and three quarter. I know somebody's gonna ask me that later, but it's just a little piece of pine that I found um, in my, I think I found it in my basement or my, my garage, but I sanded it a little bit and then I painted it uh, last night so that um, you wouldn't have to watch me do all that painting tonight. So I'm going to switch my camera over so that we can, you can not only see my hands, but you can see my face as well. And we're gonna get started on a really, really cute project um, using chalk couture transfers and chalk paste. So, does it sound okay now, Leslie? Hi, Natalie. All right, let's see if I'm going all right here. So anyway, I started doing this project this morning and things were just not working out. Um, and the cameras wouldn't cooperate so I started it and then I decided I was just gonna wash it all off and start over so you could see how cute and adorable this transfer is so the transfer that I'm using um, tonight is called keep it simple so you can say uh, keep as I said keep it simple or let me see this you can keep life simple and the morning ladies decided that they wanted life. So we're gonna do keep life simple on this adorable little board. Hello, Holly and Patty. Patty, I mailed your package out today. Holly, I love seeing your smile. It was so good to see you guys. I really do miss you guys, um, especially at my classes. Um, it's something that I just love doing and not being able to be with you guys has been a little rough. So if you are local to me and have never um, come to one of my classes, we'll have to take care of that as soon as this COVID goes away a little bit. Um, I live in Western Massachusetts in a town called Agua. If you are local to like the Springfield area, you might be close enough to come to some of my classes and I would love to have you there. So without further ado, we're gonna get working on this project. Um, this transfer is a B-size transfer, and it comes with everything that I've shown you so far, including these cute little ivies. And I would like to put them on either side of this project. And this is something you could put on your shelf, or you could put it, um, you could put a little hanger on the back and hang it on the wall, whatever you want. Oh, Holly, you're so sweet. It was so good to see you today. So, um, I have used these one time, but I did notice they were super sticky. So what I'm gonna do is peel them off the carrier sheet and just add them to my fuzzing towel. And what this does is it picks up a tiny little bit of lint, which softens the adhesive just a little bit, making it easier to remove from your surface. And it helps to helps keep it from uh, pulling at paint or um, chalk that's underneath it. 
So just adding a little bit of fuzz makes a huge difference. So I'm going to put one on each side of the board, like so. Right about there, and I'm going to put the other one on the other side. So earlier this morning when I was live, I did cut this transfer apart, and I also write on the, wrote on the fronts and the backs of each of the transfers. The reason why I do this is because the transfers are reusable, and after you've used them, you're going to wash them in lukewarm water, dry them sticky side up, and then you replace them on the carrier sheet till you're ready to use them again. So the side that I wrote on is a dull side. If you attach your transfer to that side of it, it might stick pretty tightly and be hard to get off later, sometimes even impossible. But this side right here is slick and shiny like a, like a sticker paper, and it should pull right off of there, and it'll hold it real tight too. So I'm just fuzzing these pieces up a little bit and putting them on either side of this board. This is gonna be a really quick project, you guys. Some people, uh, I know there are some designers who are live for a long, long time every night, but you know, I kind of think it makes it look harder when you're on that long working on one project. There's a few that I've taken a little more time with, but most of the time I'm pretty quick. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm smoothing the transfer down with a, a mini squeegee. This is just a little rubber squeegee. And by going over my design with the squeegee, it makes certain that there are no bumps, bubbles, or folds in my transfer. The areas where that you see white are inside of the teal area here, there's a screen that runs through the whole design, which gives you all of the detail that you see, um, rather than a stencil, which you can't have that much detail. So I'm gonna just scoop, scooch this in a tiny bit more so you can watch what I'm doing. And if you have any questions along the way, please ask me. So today we're gonna to be using um, the color Sage, which is a beautiful like um, like a heathered green. And we're also going, also going to be using Storm, which is a kind of a light shade of gray. So before you get started, you always want to give your chalk paste a good stir, and you want it to be about the consistency of um, Greek yogurt, sour cream, and as I like to say, cake batter. If it feels like it's any thicker than that, add a little bit of distilled water with a sprayer, or just a couple of drops. I think Holly's the one who got one of those new misters. You're gonna love it. So give that a good stir. That looks perfect. And I'm going to go in with my squeegee. Where did I put it? And you're going to scoop some of that paste off and smooth it over your whole design. While I'm working this, you guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting that S-H-A-R-E tab, um, sprinkling my video like that will help grow my uh, viewing audience. It changes the algorithm and all that, so it's helpful for me to meet new people. And the best compliment you can give me is a share. So please, if you don't mind, hit that S-H-A-R-E tab for me. Appreciate that very much. So I've covered the whole design with my chalk paste. And now I'm just going over it once again to um, squeegee off all of the excess paste. That goes right back into the jar to use for another project. And then while the chalk paste is still wet, you peel it back like so. As I always say, low and slow. There we go. That looks really good. Now I'm going to get this other side here. The same squeegee. Again, this is called um, sage green. And I'm spreading it over. When you are just learning how to use chalk paste, I always recommend that you use more than you think you need um, because you want to always remove your transfer before it dries. That's so important. And even if you've used a lot more than you need, it goes right back into the jar. So I like to get a nice thin coat. Actually, the thinner your coat is, the better it looks. Okay, we are almost done with the green. There we go. Ta-da! Kind of looks like ivy, doesn't it? So of course I have chalk paste on myself. Wouldn't it be a suit happy show if I didn't, right? <laughs> the way I roll. Okay. So I'm going to cover that jar. You want to keep your jars covered as much as possible. Um, exposing it to air is what makes it thicken up. So keep it nice and closed. When you're done using it for the day, um, the best thing to do is clean the edges of the jar off and inside of the lid. That will help keep the air out as well. So I'm going to warm this up with my heat tool and just dry it real quickly. And this will only take a second. 
I could let this air dry for a few minutes and it would be fine in no, five to ten minutes. Um, if you don't have a heat tool like I'm using, you can use a hair dryer if you want to go a little faster. But this is a heat tool that's mostly used for embossing. But I use it for drying paint and chalk paste. So if you are the first time watcher, um, watcher, viewer, excuse me, um, you might wonder what it is exactly that I am spreading on my transfers. And it's not paint at all, it's actually chalk paste. It's a creamy form of chalk that goes on wet and dries hard in just a matter of minutes. Great stuff. Flap some on there. All right, so I'm gonna do the word keep up top. And here's a little tip for you. I'm always seeing people fighting with their transfers trying to peel it off the carrier sheet. All you really need to do is roll your thumb along the edge and it should peel right off easily. So off to the side, I'm fuzzing that again, just adding a little bit of lint to the surface which will help it peel off easier for me. And I want to have these letters uh, about a half an inch from the top. And pretty straight if I can do that. That looks pretty good. And I think I can fit the word simple down here. What I'll do um, after these are dry, I'm gonna put the word life off to the side on an angle like that. Good? Okay, so we're gonna put simple down just like before. You know, I, I know that there are three or four of you on here that were, were um, participating in my Christmas in July sale. Thank you guys for um, shopping with me there. I have all of the um, orders boxed. Um, some have been mailed, but they are ready to go. Leslie, I'm waiting for one transfer for you that I ordered for you as well as um, I need to make you a globe stand. Did I get that one right, Patty? Globe stand. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good right there, too. All right, so again, I'm going to go over this with my squeegee to make sure I have no bumps or bubbles. You can do this with your hand, but I have noticed that when you use your squeegee, sometimes you'll hear this little snap, crackle, and pop, and that is an air bubble. So if you can use your squeegee, all the better. All right. So the paste color again that I'm using is called Storm. It's a really pretty gray color. It's not really, really like dark. Oops, it's crumbly though. Look at that. And I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. That looks perfect. Nice and smooth. So I'm using a little stir stick. This is um, actually a makeup applicator that I bought on the online place that starts with an A. Yeah, I'm not supposed to say those names, but I got it there. But we also have stir sticks by Chalk Couture if you would like them. They work very, very well and they're our signature teal color. So I'm gonna go in with my mini squeegee again and scoop up some paste and just smooth it over the design. I like to use long, smooth strokes if I can it eliminates um, you actually, if you're going like, like this a little bit at a time, you're actually fanning the chalk paste and it dries it quicker. So you wanna use nice long strokes if you can, when you can, and scoop off your excess. And peel it back. Hi, Missy. Here we go. I love the way this looks on the white paint. It's so pretty. Okay, so far so good. We're still live too, I'm so excited. That's so frustrating when it happens. It does though every now and then. Now we'll do the word simple. This long stroke. I can almost do this in two strokes. Almost did. <laughs> okay, go back over that and squeegee off the excess. Put it back in your jar. So you guys, I'm trying to figure out when the best time is for you to watch me um, in my lives. I have been going live every weekday morning at 10 a.m. But 
it doesn't seem like it's a good good time for a lot of people. So I'm trying to find the best time for people to be at their like their computers or on their phones or wherever you're watching my videos. So let me know when the best time is for you. Just just an unofficial poll. Hi Kim. Okay, here we go. Pull that back. Keep simple. So we're gonna do keep life simple. So I'm gonna dry this up and we're gonna finish that last bit. so quickly. If you can see it up close, you can see it actually drying. The color changes just a little bit. It deepens and it looks really cool. See that? It's dry. Dry, dry, dry. Alright. So now, where's the other piece? Now we're going to put the word life over here. And I like it at a little bit of an angle. I thought that looked really nice. So peel that off and fuzz it just a little bit. Patty at night. You're usually on your iPad. Good to know. Anybody else? And thanks again for hitting that S-H-A-R-E tab for me. So this is, um, like I said, it's a B-size transfer. These, um, when I have them in stock, and I do have one in stock, they sell for $17.25, and that includes your tax and shipping. Nothing additional unless I have to mail it to you. All right, I'm just going to rub this one down with my finger because all my squeegees are dirty now. That looks pretty good. Okay, here we go. What do you think? Is this something you would do, you guys? Just a little piece of scrap wood. Then I'm going to show you how to antique it up a little bit. I like them grungy. Okay. And we'll peel that back. So when you guys are peeling off your transfers, it's always easiest like to grab a corner. But as soon as you can grab it from the center, the better. Um, because if by pulling it by the corner only, there's a good chance you're going to stretch your transfer. We don't want that to happen. There we go. What do you think? You like mornings? I know, Leslie. We're morning people. I actually like mornings just because I feel a little bit more um, awake. I'm, I tend to get tired after dinner. So it's good for me, but well, I'm adaptable. Let's dry that up a little bit. We're going to go in and add a little bit of grunge to this. Make it look like an old sign. Hey, Christine! Christine, you're another one I have. Um, I have an order of yours here still. And I know you've been a little bit out of commission lately, but that's okay. I've got it nice and safe and sound. So the next thing that I'm going to do, thank you, Leslie. I like you too, um, is I'm going to go around the edges of this and kind of age it with a distressing ink. Um, I like to use Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. The only other color I usually use is one called Soot. Um, those are the two colors I like best and the only things I, I would recommend that you not use them on is if you're trying to make it look like snow um, then it just looks like dirty snow um, and you might want to use a light blue or a lavender for those things but I'm going to use this one this is called vintage photo and what I have on my finger is called a dauber so there's a really ratty old sponge on the end of here I've used this a lot I'll pull it up a little closer so you can see it um, and this has got a little sponge there and I'm just going to go around the edges with the dauber and just kind of lightly ink the edges. Let me see, make sure you can see this. I'm going to use a nice light touch and I'm very lightly brushing it. And that is going to give it that little bit of an aged look so it doesn't look quite so sterile. 
Um, I like to, to do a nice light touch. You can always add more if you want to later. It's really harder to remove it if you put too much. So just be careful and take your time. Go around all the edges. Slipping out of my hand here. Just tap it along the edges. I try not to like do a straight line because it, it, it doesn't look right. It's It needs to be a little bit muddled like this looks. I'll see if I can pull it in close enough for you to see what I mean. It's kind of hard to see in the camera. But um, it really does make a difference and it looks cool. And it looks like an old sign. You guys staying cool? Thanks, Leslie. It's so cute. Uh, my neighbor called me tonight and said that her air conditioner was not working. And she has, um, her mom lives with her. She's an older lady on oxygen. So um, they're trying to keep her comfortable. And of course, they're welcome here too. Hi, Kaylee. My niece Kaylee's watching and she is gonna be coming on with me one of these days because she wants to go live with me <laughs> to find a fun project for her before she has to go back to school, right? All right, I'm doing the back sides also because you got to do the back, right? Why not? So a little takes just a minute more. Guys, you imagine how many gifts you could make with one transfer, just making these little signs out of scrap wood. All right, I think I got it. Oh, I think I've got it. All the corners are done. All right, it's a little hard for you to see, but I'll take a picture of this and you'll see it a little bit better up close. So what do you think? Wasn't that fun? Easy peasy. So again, this is called Keep Life Simple. I have one of these trail um, transfers in stock if anybody would like one. Um, I can also order them on my website for you as well as the chalk paste. Um, I can order those for you, or you can go right to my website, which is right here. And just look up Keep Life Simple in the product area. So um, in addition to that, if you are interested in being in my VIP group, and that's the place you want to be because that is where I put all of my specials, and sometimes I have bundles in there that I don't have on the, my public uh, page, uh, which is my sister's house with Susan Tapley. Um, I also put all of my local events, when those start happening again, and hopefully it'll be soon, those are in my VIP group. So if you're local to the Springfield Mass area and would like to hear about my project workshops, um, be sure to write VIP in the comments and I will get back to you about that. I also have, hi Kaylee, I love you too, honey. Um, I also have a business opportunity if anybody out there would like to uh, get paid to craft like I do, which is so much fun, let me know. Just write join in the comments and I will get you the information that you need. One more thing is that we have a club. I don't know if you can see behind me. Grab it. I have something called Club Couture. And this is our Club Couture project for the month. Let me pop this through here so you can see it a little better. So every month you will get a B-size transfer like the one we just used in the mail, which is an exclusive transfer that only my club members get. You also get three colors of chalk paste with that. So you'll be able to complete a project just like this. Club members um, also get the option to purchase the previous month's transfer. And if you sign up in July, you'll get the August transfer of the first month, but you also have the option of getting this one. And I have so many ideas on what to do with this one. And just so you know, I made this one out of a piece of wood and it's held on by magnets because I, I can wash this off anytime I want to. Our chalk is water soluble and it's easy to clean off. And I'm gonna hang some other things from this globe stand, um, maybe some pumpkins and sunflowers and things like that. So um, the Chalk Club is the place to go. Bite Club in the comments and I can get you the link to that. It's about $20 a month. Um, club members also get special prices on shipping and usually there's a monthly special for you too. So you wanna be a part of that club. Okay. All right, so that's what I have for you today. I will be here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. with another really fun project. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet, but I have a couple things in mind. Um, so I hope you can join me 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, same place. 
Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.